the inevitable sort of conclusion was that England were rusty because they hadn't played against the Barbarians. I'm just interested, from your perspective, why a game gets you to where you need to be rather than training? What is it about playing a test match that means the following week it's all... Do you know what I mean? Why does training not get you to that level? Yeah, it's that unanswered question that if we knew the answer to, we'd probably be millionaires and not doing podcasts for 50 quid. <laughs> You're getting paid 50. I'm only getting paid 20. <laughs> <laughs> 50 quid a minute, Bab. I don't know the answer to that, but what I can tell you is that we've got data that shows us that we train harder than a test match. Like The way we train is this berserk. Like It's... Mad. That's all. Like, the only way I can describe it. It's just it pushes so why you. Does that not, why does that not translate into you know? If you didn't give the performance you wanted to give, I mean, it does. So, of course, it does. Like in terms of fitness, being physically prepped and equipped for the game, but you you just can't emulate a a game, can you? Like there's there's just certain aspects of a game, whether it be like psychological duress or like the way you're feeling itself. You just you you can't you can't recreate that on a training pitch. We do our best. Like, we always do our best to to put ourselves in those situations during training. And I think we do a really good job of it. And that's probably where the professional game's going now. Um, I just spoke to Will Carlin about something the other day. He said, like, when that game first went professional, Hass, were you playing them or not? When first <laughs> um, in your cleats. Um, so he told me that, like, as soon as it went professional, they were like, right, we've got to be in from nine till five. And they've done the same shit every single day. And it was like, what the fuck are we doing? Like, we've done this yesterday. And they were like, yeah, but you're professional now. So you've got to do this. This is the way we do it. But no one actually had a clue, did they? Like, no one, they'd never been professional before. So they didn't know how professional rugby players had to train. Whereas, like, now everything's got a meaning for it. And, like, we literally train within game scenario and we hit our meters per minute of what we'd hit in the game in training and beyond. So we've got all the data to sort of show us where we need to be to train and compete at that level and we just try to recreate as well as we can like as you've been involved in it some of the training is chaos like it's so hard but you get the benefits from it and you see that on the weekend and sorry to answer your question I'm waffled on a bit there but we physically equip ourselves so that we're ready fitness wise and then it's just down to decision making isn't it 